Hello there, my name is Ereo Skrull. I'm the founder of Celestial Intellect Cybernetics. Today I'm going to introduce our new open-ended AI unification architecture. Omega AGI architecture is geared towards data science automation and intended for human-level performance. It is based on Ray Somos Alpha architecture and Schmidt Weber's Geta Mission architecture. We designed Omega from first principles to theoretically guarantee human-level performance. The conception of generality was abstracted from the requirements of advanced data science applications in automated trading, genomics, cybersecurity, face recognition, robotics, language understanding, and so forth. We pursue a deep technological integration methodology, integrating a large number of advances in algorithms, statistics, programming languages, parallel computing, computer architecture, distributed operating systems, blockchain, and database by ourselves and our colleagues. We arrived at the following principles of general AI. Completeness, model diversity, modularity, and self-improvement to replace heuristic programmers with AI is in Solmos Alpha architecture, which is based on the fully general theory of algorithmic probability, or AIT. Task, domain, and data type independence, as well as agency, to achieve greater independence from programmers. A common thread of these principles is maximizing the system's ability to reprogram itself. A system's intelligence is limited by its code that it cannot reprogram. Therefore, these principles suggest a liberal use of unsupervised learning and meta-learning approaches, as well as autonomy to increase the system's independence from a human programmer, resulting in an open-ended system that is free to evolve on its own. In Alpha family of architectures, the Phase 1 machine is reusable general-purpose machine learning facility which solves general induction and transfer learning problems. In Omega, we call this corp component the AI kernel, and it contains a stack of inductive programming machine learning algorithms that can work with any reference machine. In the current design of Omega, we employ a biomimetic training procedure which uses a network search algorithm for a media learning a network and uses a combination of genetic algorithms and stochastic gradient descent to learn a model. The AI kernel uses a generalized version of heuristic algorithmic memory to work with many reference machines and provide a transfer learning facility. It is exposed as a universal induction API in anticipation of a common question. We do not yet know if a fully differentiable deep model is sufficient for an effective AI kernel, but we do have multiple alternative models for such a design. Omega extends Alpha by providing a set of problem-solving methods to automate common data science tasks to avoid reinventing the wheel, so to say. The PSMs are formulated in such a way that the system can regenerate and reprogram them. The idea of providing diverse computational methods and representations in AI is due to Marvin Minsky. Our approach is nowadays called neurosymbolic, combining neural and symbolic representations. Though our approach of providing many reference machines is novel and was one of the first such proposals. Miranet is a general neural network representation that can produce common deep learning models and it is a type network representation with a large set of neural operations. It is intended to be differentiable. Church is a stochastic extension of scheme and it is a glue language of the system by which the system internal functions are reflected. Probabilistic logic is used uh, to provide common sense reasoning capability, a la OpenCog. Bayesian networks are used to represent statistical models. Analog computer is intended for robotic control applications. Picture language can represent images. Matrix programming can be used for scientific computing applications and asynchronous computer can be handy for dealing with distributed and interactive systems. We are going to provide a large set of common deep learning models, including Fourier net neural network for compact neural net search, convolutional neural nets, which are the common building block of many deep models, deep leaf networks and deep autoencoders for unsupervised learning, LSTM GRU for recurrent neural nets with built-in memory and recursive deep networks to represent hierarchical structures. The system will be able to reproduce and vary over these basic models. Here is the Omega architecture's component diagram, which shows the broad functional decomposition without dependency arrows. The architecture here corresponds to version 0.2 and it significantly extends alpha. 
AI kernel contains the general purpose machine learning functions, eight reference machines, and six problem solving methods are provided initially. We also include six kinds of deep neural architectures by default. Cognitive modules correspond to higher level functions. System support provides integration with a decentralized peer to peer compute architecture. Higher order cognition is an interesting aspect of alpha and omega architectures. It consists of two basic strategies corresponding to a kind of reflective cognition. Analysis, which divides a problem to known problems, uh, and then solves those problems and merges them back again. And synthesis, which recombines and modifies existing problem-solving methods producing new problem-solving methods. There, uh, there are task decomposition methods in the literature. This was similarly realized. Further levels of reflection are possible, leading to human-like, higher-order thinking about problems. There are many alternative ways similar pro procedures can be designed, and the system itself can logically apply to improvement of these procedures. The ensemble algorithm is based on Alpha's ultimate ensemble machine. It uses performance records to allocate time according to predictive success of a solution method for a problem. We will need a dialogue engine to interact with ne users naturally. A deep NLU engine based on transformer networks may be used here. Analysis synthesis provides higher order cognition for problem solving. Self improvement is similar to the one in Alpha, like Schmidt Huber's. Good on machine architectures, it runs continuously in the background and uses system history to improve future performance. <coughs> Task performance memory uses AI kernel transfer learning facility to store past performance of PSMs on tasks and can be, can be reused by multiple modules. We designed a modular neural architecture to support complex neural tasks. Metacortex models co cortical columns as an ensemble system with lateral connectivity to increase network modularity and exploit affinity. Intelligent agents will have goal following and utility maximizing agents. They will be built on a dual world modeling planning architecture. They will have real time operation and multiple neuron templates such as Zeus and I2A will be provided. Zeus is ongoing research and its design goals are multimodal perception, multitasking, task decomposition, imitation learning for near human level exploration and manual labor automation tasks. Zeus has a deep learning architecture using components from Omega like metacortex and neural architectures. The process and memory hierarchy of cognitive modules is such that faster backpropagation and LSTM are used at a low level model learning interactive steps. Genetic algorithms and task working memory are used within a problem solver method step and more expensive meta learning, network search, task performance memory, heuristic algorithmic memory kind of methods are used at the highest level. The memory hierarchy is roughly based on human cognition. We designed system support components for a decentralized, heterogeneous, peer-to-peer -peer parallel computing substrate. Stardust is a virtual machine that provides a standard AI operating environment and parallel distributed computing primitives, acting as a hardware abstraction layer. Cypher is a scalable blockchain that enables decentralized operation and finance. Scientific data language is a unified data representation for the assets. It serves to abstract data storage and distribution. I presented to you one of the most ambitious AGI architectures ever designed. I realized it is quite challenging to prove that it will work and fully engineered to design. I have not been able to disclose many crucial details due to lack of time. Please consider this as the first chapter of a new AGI book. We do intend this as a candid solution for human level AI. Therefore, we are very interested in your opinion. If you have any inquiries, please send them to examachine at gmail.com. Thank you for listening and helping us emancipate mankind from drudgery.